Hello and welcome everyone and uh, today uh, we're gonna be doing uh, a flight uh, on Pilot Edge with Live ETC Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 from Burbank California to Santa Barbara and I picked these two airports right now because they are currently IFR so it's gonna be fun that's for sure okay so um, let's go ahead and uh, take a look real quick at uh, the proposed route for today so the interesting thing about the Santa I mean the Southern California uh, IFR system that they have uh, preset uh, tech routes uh, these tech routes uh, tower in route control the routes are pretty much pre-approved so you don't really get to create your own route between any two airports in Southern California um, what you do is you look up these pre-approved routes you file them you get them and sometimes you don't even have to file them you can just actually call delivery or call ground if it's a class Delta Airport and get your IFR clearance uh, right on the spot you just say the name of the tech route and you should get it and today's tech route is uh, Burbank P39 from Burbank to Santa Barbara and and this is what we are going to file our flight plan for right now so let's go ahead and file our flight plan on Pilot Edge and by the way if you're watching and you feel uh, like you know asking a question or anything like that just feel free to uh, uh, hi Captain Matty, what's up? Uh, if you have any questions, uh, just go ahead and shoot. You know, I'll try to answer to the best of my ability. So go ahead now and follow our flight plan. Okay, so this is going to be IFR flight in the Hotel Alpha, Delta Alpha Juliet and DA62. Uh, the modded, by the way, this is the modded DA62 by Mr. Tommy X. Amazing work by this guy. Um, this is going to be Slang Golf. Uh, we have uh, GPS and transponder mode Charlie that reports altitude and we are non uh, uh, reduced vertical separation minimum we don't go up uh, <laughs> flight level 290 that's way more than the service seating of this aircraft okay so uh, true speed about 180 knots for this aircraft and we're gonna be flying from Burbank um, okay so let's put Burbank here we go to Santa Barbara all right, and the cruise altitude for this tech route is uh, 6,000 feet westerly, and we put 6,000. And let's see if we need to pick an alternate, right? So, uh, what we need to do now is check the one, two, three rule at Santa Barbara, and we look at the weather, and it looks like, according to the TAV. One hour before or after broken. Oh, not gonna work. So yeah, we do have to pick an alternate. And looking at this big mess right now in South Cal, we can actually try to use a Four Flights alternate route feature. Uh, hey, Omar Ali, how you doing, buddy? Uh, flying. Oh, wow. Captain Matty is busy. And you're writing your first book that's even more amazing outstanding so um, we go ahead now pick an alternate and uh, we can use uh, for flight to help us out uh, are you streaming captain Matty? because i can watch you after this flight it's going to be a short flight about uh, about an hour or so and uh, i'll be uh, i'll be watching okay i'm going to go with something marginal vfr the situation is really other gate so Meadows Field uh, overcast 5000 so KBFL so we select this okay KBFL is the alternate so let's put that here KBFL is it KBFL or KBFI bum 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 yeah KBFL that's correct okay KBFL okay and then we'll go ahead now and paste the route so this is the route the tech route the published tech route uh, tower in route controlled uh, route for uh, these two airports between Burbank and Santa Barbara so Fillmore Victor 186 airway at uh, Dino Victor 27 to Kwong 
Okay, and we put the name of the tick root here uh, when we file. Okay, uh, the name of the tick root is, I'm going to copy it and paste it, copy and paste it here. Okay, and we go ahead now and file a flight plan on Pilot Edge. And flight plan file successfully, make sure you connect Kotelov.wgs. Sounds good. So now we go ahead now and connect to Pilot Edge. And here is the connect the client. Connect to Telafa Delta Alpha Juliet, D is 62. Okay, so Captain Matty is not streaming. Next time, man, you should you should stream. I'd be more than happy to watch. Wow. Okay, so now we connected and logged into the network. Perfect. Okay, so let's get started now. So the fuel, what I like to set up this aircraft, I like to have full main tanks and empty auxiliaries on those kinds of flights. So that's done. And we don't have a GPU or anything, so I'm going to have to start the engines uh, before I uh, turn on the radio, grab the ATIS, whatever, because the battery will go to sleep, that's for sure. Here we go, and strobe lights on, because the strobes here are equivalent to the beacon light in this aircraft. Here we go, and let's come down here so we can make things clear for everyone. And what I'm going to do is now with uh, left engine master on, I'm not going to use the fuel pumps, and we go ahead and wait for the glow light to go off, and go ahead now start the left engine. Okay, keep an eye on the oil pressure in the green. Looking good. Oil temperature is yellow because it's going to warm up right now. But of course, before starting the engine, you got to make sure fuel temperature on the DA62 are in the green. Okay, let's go ahead now and uh, ride engine. Right engine master on. Okay. And by the way, great, great, great work by the working title team uh, on the Garmin G1000 NXI. Absolutely amazing. All right, let's go ahead now start the right engine. Let's check out the oil pressure in the green. Looking good. And in that case, now I'm going to turn the avionics on. And we go ahead now and do our thing with the uh, MFD. I'm going to wait. Oh, here we go. It kicked in. Yeah, it does take a little bit of like, you know, a few seconds to kick in in the real aircraft. All right, so the first thing we do, first thing is first, we're going to go ahead now and grab the ATIS. All right, so what is the ATIS? We are now here at Burbank. And the ATIS frequency is 134.5. I'm going to put this on COM2. Okay, 134.5. And I'll make that on COM2. Here you go, 134.5. And we make that active. And we go ahead and activate now COM2 on the... Short instructions. Advise on initial contact. You have information, Charlie. We have information, Charlie, for Burbank. Burbank, Glendale, Pasadena Airport. ATIS information, Charlie. 1800 Zulu. Wind 120 at 12. Visibility 1 and 3 quarters. Light rain. Mist. Ceiling 400 overcast. Temperature 12. 2.9. Altimeter 3000. Arriving and departing runways 8, 15. ILS runway 8 approach in use. Land and hold short operations in effect for non turbojet aircraft landing runway 15. 4,250 feet available. VFR departures contact clearance delivery. Advise delivery on is 118.0. So let's is put that on COM2. All runway assignments and hold short instructions. Advise on initial contact. You have information, Charlie. 118.0. Okay. The Alpha. Here's delivery. And we're going to go ahead now and call in and get our clearance. When we have information, Charlie. Runway 11. KSBA, okay. and we have Charlie. All right, call in now. Get our clearance. Palm Springs, Palm Springs Tower, Nav or uh, 
Sky High 4171 is clear of 31 left at hotel. Sure. Captain Matty Gale, tell me what the book is about. Sky High 4171, I am interested. Whiskey and monitor grounds. The okay. FBO via whiskey and monitor ground, Sky High 4171. And uh, pass Sky High. For all help. Burbank uh, Delivery, Diamond Hotel Alpha, Delta Alpha Juliet, IFR to Santa Barbara with Charlie. Hotel Alpha, Delta Alpha Juliet, Burbank Clearance, clear to Santa Barbara Airport, then has three departure, film work transition, Victor 186, and then is filed, maintain 4,000, spec 6,000, one zero, and it's after departure. Part trigger C134.2, squawk 5203. Clear to Santa Barbara, Van Nuys, three departure, film transition, Victor 186, then is filed initially four. Then 610 minutes after 134.2, squawk 5203, Hotel Alpha, Delta Alpha, Juliet. Hotel Alpha, Delta Alpha, Juliet, back, correct. All right, that looks interesting. So Van Nuys, three departure, film or transition. So we might want to put this one now in the flight plan. So procedure, departure, Van Nuys 3, film or transition. Oceanside, and then it's filed, maintain 3,000, expect 6,000, and once you're going to set the departure, departure frequency 1100.6. Okay, let's go ahead now Squad and three, set up three, four, uh, the avionics, the G1000. And this is how I like to do it. I like to do it from top to bottom. All right, so I start with the comms. I start with the comms. After I set up the comms, I will set the altitude preselect um, according to the departure. Correct. The altimeter, the flight plan, and the squawk or the transponder squawk. So from top to bottom. How do I like to set up my comms? I like to put on COM1, I like to put tower on COM1 active, and I like to put the departure frequency on COM1 standby. On COM2, I'll put the ground frequency because I'm going to taxi, and I'm going to put um, the uh, ATIS because I'm going to listen to it again before I start taxiing uh, to make sure that I still have the current ATIS. I'm still waiting on the book, Captain Matty. What's the book? What, what is the book about? <laughs> very, very interested. Okay, so let's do this real quick. All right, so looking up the frequency now. Tower frequency is Burbank is 118.7. So I'm going to put this one here. Oh, okay, that's a small change. 118.7. Here we go. 118.7 is active on uh, common. And I'm going to put departure frequency. This is from the clearance 134.2. So let's put 134.2. Okay, 134.2. Good. And on COM2 now, I am going to put ground. I don't need delivery anymore. And I leave the ATIS, okay? So ground frequency is 123.9er. So let me change this. Light rain. 2, 3. Lift. 400 scattered. Ceiling 1,800 overcast. Temperature 1, 2. Oh, my goodness. I think that's a different ATIS. Altimeter 3001. Yep. Arriving and departing runways 8, 1, 5. Okay. ILS runway 8 approach and use. Clear. Land and hold short operations eight, in effect one, for non-turbo aircraft zero, zero, landing one. runway 1, 5. 4,250 feet available. VFR departures contact clearance livery. Advise on course heading, altitude, and if flight Delta. following is requested. Read back all runway assignments and hold short instructions. Advise on initial contact. You have information Delta. Delta, exactly. That is good because we're not going to need to listen to it again. Burbank, Glendale, Pasadena Airport. ATIS information Delta. Mm -hmm. 1853 Zulu. Wind 130 at 9er. Visibility 2.5. Light rain. Mist. 400 scattered. Ceiling 1,800 overcast. Temperature 1.2. 2.9er. Two. Altimeter 3001. That's it. Arriving and departing runways. Okay, we're good now. So we got everything Hotel we need. Alpha to 28 right 7226 zero. Okay, now we set up the altitude preselect, and that is according to the departure. He said to me in the, actually in the clearance, initially 4,000, expect 610 minutes after. So initially 4,000. So you want to put 4,000 on the altitude preselect. Now we set the altimeter, which is 3001. We got to make sure that this is correct. Here's the altimeter, 3001. Good. And now we'll continue now with the flight plan. Let's go back again to the MFD and set up the, the flight plan. 
Okay, flight plan. And the origin is Burbank. Here we go. And you can actually type this in using, if you click the mouse here, and then when you press enter, you can actually type it in. Um, the guys from the from the working title team that made things easy. Okay, it's about a young lad who is enslaved by Arabs and escaped by going across North Africa to Europe, and he sails home to the USA. Sounds exciting. Is this you gonna look for a publisher? Or are you gonna go uh, uh, indie all the way and publish on Amazon? Okay, here we go. Burbank and departure runway is gonna be runway eight because that's the runway I'm close to. But it doesn't matter here, you don't have to pick it. Alright, so procedure. Select departure. We want to select our departure right now. And this is the Van Nuys 3. And we're going to take uh, from the runway 8. That's the runway we're closest to. If they change it, it's no problem. And the Fillmore transition. And here is the Fillmore transition. And we go ahead now and load it. And let's go ahead now and review this before we continue. Uh, to make sure that it's correct. So we go to plates and we go to departure and uh, we pick Van Nuys 3 uh, departure and we'll look at it right now and see if it's correct because we want to make sure that what we have is not junk. Okay, so if we're gonna runway 8 um, let's see Van Nuys 3 uh, runway 8 it says climbing right turn heading 213 and that is here you go you're going to get to 1180, 400 AGL, and then heading 213. That looks correct. And then after that, for the Fillmore transition from over uh, the Van Nuys VOR DME on Van Nuys Radial 255 and Fillmore Radial 120 to Fillmore Vortec. Okay, we gotta double check this here. I'm sorry. And we make sure that it's correct. Self published. Okay, very good. Yeah, you can do that on Amazon, I think. So it'll make things easy. Montgomery Tower, arrow 7226 Sierra, ready for departure 28 right. Okay. So 7226 Sierra, Montgomery Tower, only 28 right, clear for takeoff. Okay, so you're gonna clear expect. Right, clear for takeoff, 7226 Sierra. So gonna fly the heading 293. Uh, two, I'm sorry, 213. After that, you're going to expect Raider Victors to Van Nuys VR. Okay, and then from the Van Nuys VR, uh, Van Nuys Radial 255 so and Fillmore Radial 120. Okay, so that would be an intersection. 691 Hotel San Luis Tower, only 1 1 clear for takeoff. Where are you? Clear for takeoff, runway 1 1. Here's the Fillmore, and here's the Van Nuys VR. So here, radial, and the intersection is Swana. That is correct. Ipu, and then Swana. That is the radial, Ipu, and then Swana Fillmore. So this is correct, folks. Okay, so the departure is correct, and then we continue now with the, our tech route. Um, the tech route is after Fillmore, we have Victor 186. So the way to enter Victor 186 is the following. You go to the next waypoint, after the last waypoint, the blank one, you press menu and load airway. Okay, enter. And then go ahead now with the small knob. Remember, the small knob takes you inside an item, makes you change something in an item. The big knob moves you to the next item. So we have Victor 186. So we'll, we'll go for, to Victor 186, and we press Enter. And now it's going to ask you, where do you want to exit that Victor Airway? And I want to exit the Victor Airway on Dino. So small knob to go inside, and here is Dino. Good evening, Charlie and, and that is... Let's double check that. And we have, after Fillmore, we have Henner and Dino. That is correct. Okay. Alpha Bravo, we're short of Alpha requesting the pattern work for runway 29 After 
Victor 186, we have Victor 27, menu again. Victor 27. And we're going to exit on Kwong. And uh, folks, if you just joined us or you're watching right now and you have any questions, please feel free to ask. We're doing a flight today with live ETC from Burbank to Santa Barbara. Ah. And here we go, and we filed the flight plan. So Dino Quang and load, and that should be Dino and then Quang. That is correct. Okay, so it looks like everything is nice. Now we put the destination airport, right, which is Santa Barbara. Okay, here's KS. B A. Enter. And we're good. We have a good flight plan. I don't have the runway. I don't care. Uh, we're going to listen to the air. So that's it. And flight plan is good. And that is the runway 8. And that is the heading. We're going to fly till we get Raider Victored. Okay, folks, so that looks good. Let's continue our setup. So after that, we said we continue going down. The next thing is the transponder squawk. And from our squawk was 5203. So transponder code 5203. And put it on alt mode. And with that, now let's make ourselves like a little bit, you know, uh, savvy since we're using the GPS we can use backups right you see the departure is using the Van Nuys VR and using the Fillmore VR so I'm gonna put Van Nuys VR on Nav1 right nothing to lose there so the Van Nuys VR 113.1 we put that on Nav1 113.1 and we're going to be flying radial um, from the description. Here you go. It says Van Nuys, the film or transition, radial 255. So let's go ahead and set radial 255 for backup. Okay, so I would set up radial 255. Here we go. So far, so good. And I will put, with the PFD options, I will put a DME to it and put a bearing to it to make life easier. All right, so the second thing is Fillmore VR. And the Fillmore VR 112.5. So we put that on 2, 112.5, make it active. And according to the departure, that would be radial uh, 120 inbound, okay? So radial 120 inbound, so that would be 3002. So let's go ahead and set that up. I'm gonna set that up here. 3002, so we'll go to CDI 2. I'm so sure. Hello, it's Charlie Fox, Lima Bravo, short of 1 ready for takeoff. Of course. Charlie Fox, Lima Bravo. Same list there, what's your direction of flight? 120 inbound is 3002. And that's the one. This is just for backup, folks. We're going to use the GPS, but it's good to have backup. And that's it. We'll go back again to the GPS. We will also there for a few of these for telephone. And, and with that, ready for, uh, the pattern. we should be ready. Let's go to map okay, options. Okay, you said you want to do pattern, correct? Hey, sir, we have telephone in Bravo. Charlie Fox, Shandy, we will make right traffic. Runway 1-1 one, one, clear for takeoff, report midfield. Here's Van Nuys. Right traffic, runway 1-1 one, one, clear for takeoff, we report midfield. Charlie Fox, Shandy, we will travel. And we're good to go. Let's go ahead and get some uh, lights in. Alright. Okay, we're all set now. We can actually call for our taxi right now. And we are currently at Atlantic. Aviation. Oh, close to Atlantic Aviation, and we're ready to taxi with. Um, we don't have Charlie anymore, with Delta. So, close. We're ready to taxi with Delta at Atlantic Aviation. Okay. 
let's go ahead and call now uh, ground which is come to active Burbank uh, ground, Dominic Alpha, Delta Alpha Juliet at Atlantic uh, ready taxi with Delta. I tell off Delta Alpha Juliet, Burbank ground, runway 8 taxi via Delta. Runway 8 via Delta, I tell off Delta Alpha Juliet. Just like we expected, runway 8 is the closest runway to us. And this is it. And we're going to go ahead now. Taxi light on. Release the brakes. Camera on the ground, so I'm winning 240 Yankee Victor. On the ground at the transient parking, let's talk to the active information, uh, Charlie. A 240 Yankee Victor Camarillo ground runway 8, taxi via Foxtrot Echo. Okay. Runway 8 via exactly Foxtrot Echo. Exactly this here. is going to be for the Cat 9. Uh, give me the Cat 10. Okay, here's runway 8, we're going to taxi. And it looks like everything is set up good. In real life, when you actually taxi the DE-42 or the DE-62, you can do the engine run-up while you taxi. Yeah, as long as you idle by pressing the ECU test here, both together. And then you switch the voters and you check the voters. This is how we do the engine run up on this uh, aircraft uh, with the FATIC system, full authority digital uh, engine control. We're going to do it here, anyways. And here's the holding point. A little bit of lag. I don't know why, but. Approaching runway 08. Okay, and this is when you actually do the engine run up and you hold. Both at the Foster same time. Field, and then the FATIC is going to do the test. Charlie Fox, Charlie Fox, Charlie Fox, Charlie Fox, Charlie Fox, Charlie Very good. Done. Do the other engine. That's done, and then after that, you go ahead and switch the voters. A, check A and B, auto and B, and A, auto and B on the other one. So now let's get ready. So P2 heat on, all lights on. I'm not going to use the fuel pumps. I'm going to switch now to COM1, and that would be tower, which we set up already. All right. <coughs> Bourbon tower, down to the top of Juliet, holding short, runway 08. Tell off, dot off, Juliet, Bourbon tower, runway 8, clear for takeoff. Runway 8, clear for takeoff, tail off, Delta Juliet. Approach sector clear. Left side clear. Santa Maria Let's Tower, Skyhawk 691 Hotel, 10 North, inbound, full stop with Zulu. Approaching runway 08. Burr, 691 Hotel, Santa Maria Tower. Entered, Entered runway, runway 08, 1737 meters remaining. Straight in runway 12, report 3 mile final, 691 Hotel. Clear Center delivery. the head and bug. Pop echo D six two sign golf request like flight following the Santa Barbara at six thousand five hundred with information Zulu. Okay, all right, take off. Take up our set. Three 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 five pop echo. On departure. Speed alive. Engine is much all green. Remain on the west side of the exit the surface area. Arch frequency one three four point two squawk five five six zero. Okay, seventy eight. Rotate. After departure, intercept parallel to Gold State Freight on the west side until exiting the surface of the Charlie airspace. Arch frequency one three four point two up. squawk five five six zero. November thirty five. Pop back up. Five pop back. Read that correct. Auto pilot on. Nav. Hotel off. Delta off. Julia contact. So good departure. Contact departure. Hotel off. Delta off. Juliet. Let's go. And that is the Charlie right Fox, Neely, Lima, Bravo. Are you going to park here back to the runway? Well, affirmative. Charlie Fox, Neely, Bravo. Heading to. Uh, affirmative. You want to go back to parking or to the runway? 
Back to parking for the east hangar. Shall we talk to you? Right, now one? switch to departure. Roger, taxi. Heading 213. Caution. TFR ahead. I'm uh, still turning. Okay, and let's change this one to quickly to flight level change. We'll go for 100 knots and reduce the power a little and taxi landing lights off. Let's call departure now and get ready with instructions. South Cal departure, uh, Dominant Del Alpha, Delta Alpha, Juliet, 2800, climbing 4000. DHA, circuit departure, radar contact, climbing maintain 6000. Climbing 6000, hotel off Delta Alpha, Juliet. Okay. 6000. Okay, look, everything is in the green, things are looking good. We are now being vectored. And most likely, if you check here, that uh, yeah, she either gonna give us Van Nuys or something closer after Van Nuys. Okay, we are in IMC. Let's check for icing. It's six degrees, so we know things are looking good. Just a little bit of rain. And uh, here we are. And Microsoft Live Weather is on the money. Looking good. 1,000 to go. You put your hand now on the throttle. Getting ready to uh, reduce the power when I capture my altitude. Right, if you're just joining us right now, again, we're doing a flight between Burbank to Santa Barbara, IFR, Southern California Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, a Garmin G1000 NXI by the Working Title Team, and we are with live ETC uh, on Pilot Edge. I'm going to now reduce the power. So between 70 and 80% load is good on this aircraft and uh, we wait for uh, ATC uh, instructions because we are being radar vectored right now Okay, a little bit of turbulence here. What's that wind? Yup, 25 hit. Of course. Things are going to get uh, tricky. Now, we're still in the layer. But the temperature is... Uh, <laughs> welcome, South Cal. Yup, icing... Uh, I think that common. Okay. All right. Looking forward to a new heading soon. I think I'm gonna get uh, direct uh, Fillmore. I'm pretty much sure. I must say, I mean, this mod is amazing. Really, really good. And I think he released uh, another update, Mr. Tommy X, uh, I think a couple of days ago. Maybe even today, I'm not even sure. And I, uh, I updated the aircraft and he added all these uh, extra warnings and everything else. Caution, TFR below. Okay. Okay, yes, sure. Uh, I mean, uh, view our navigation, you mean? 26 Sierra, contact circle, approach 128.1. 128.1, 26 Sierra. HG 
TTHA, turn right heading 260. Right heading 260, tell off the top of your head. Okay, first center the heading bug. And then switch to heading moot. And we turn right heading 260. SoCal approach 7226 Sierra 6000. Sierra 7226 Sierra SoCal approach John Wayne altimeter 3002. 3002, we have November at John Wayne 260. Yeah, the wind. 3260, thank you. Do you have a bridge request? Here's 260. Uh, we'll do the ILF for 20 right 260. It is turbulence. 260, Roger. After Dana, heading 310, vector ILS, runway 20, right approach. After Dana, and say the heading again to, for 260. 260, after Dana, fly heading 310. Heading 310, after Dana, 260. Okay, I'm going to get direct Kwong or something. Alright, better get to so work. Departure, November uh, 65, now we want to put the ATAS frequency for. Uh, yeah, she's going to give Victor us to Kwong. All right, we want to put now the it is frequency. Four, four, 12, traffic slightly right here, 12 one, three, two, six, five. Miles, opposite direction, altitude keeps 5,500 heaven on. Six, five. Yeah, first word, John, Roger, keep an eye. 132.650, and Santa Barbara Tower is 119.7. I'm going to put that one on standby COM2. And we need to grab the ATIS. Just waiting for a direct to Kwong or something. Oh, the weather is crap, but it looks like the layer is not that thick above. Okay, interesting. Okay, so right now, if I look at this, I am. If I ask myself which radial am I on right now, um, for with respect to Van Eyes, with respect to Fillmore, very easy. Right now, I am on the. Almost the 122 two or the 120 radio out of Fillmore. So that means I am southeast of Fillmore. That is correct. And I am now on the. Contact Fox Tower. 203, 204 radial Van Nuys. Contact, uh, How did I know this? I looked at the CDI and I read the tail. The tail of the RMIs. The tail of the RMIs tells me what QDR or magnetic bearing from the station I'm on and that's where I'm at right now all right I think it's time to grab the ATIS because we are certainly going direct to Kwong so go to scratch pad close and here we go K S B A and we try to listen now let's double check again the ATIS frequency maybe I'm too far um it is frequency was 13265 oh i put the wrong frequency 132650 there you go 132650 for santa barbara 132650 and now go ahead and listen dust 2 1 visibility 1 heavy rain mist Ceiling 400 broken, 1,500 overcast. Temperature 13, dew point 12, altimeter 2908. Arriving runway 7, departing runway 7, 15 right, 15 left. ILS runway 7 approach in use. The FR departures contact clearance delivery. Advise on course heading, altitude, and if flight following is requested, Ease back all runway assignments and hold short instructions. Advise on initial contact. You have invasion, Romeo. Santa Barbara Municipal Airport. Eight is information, Romeo. One eight five three Zulu. Wind zero nine or zero at eight. Gust two one. Visibility one. Heavy rain. Mist. Ceiling four hundred broken. 1,500 overcast. Temperature 1 re. Dew point 12. Altimeter 2908. Arriving runway 7. Departing runway 7. One okay, folks, so we have information, Romeo, for Santa Barbara. Ceiling is 400. 
So we're gonna definitely want to shoot for something like an ILS approach uh, with a, a minimum of 200 AGL uh, Cat 1 to make sure that we can break out uh, of this uh, broken layer. Right, in that case, if we look at what we have available to us after Quang, uh, I'm gonna go to Procedure, Approach, ILS 7, and uh, I can d get that one from Goulet, full procedure after Quang, and uh, here we go. So I can request that one uh, from ETC. I tell them I have Romeo. When we get asked for uh, okay, in that case, I'm gonna stop briefing this approach plate. And uh, okay, you stay with approach center on COM1 and just do a listen on the audio panel. Yes, uh, that is correct. Um, what I do is um, the audio panel is pretty much anything related to audio, meaning which mic I'm speaking on and what am I listening to. All right. So right now I am on COM. You can see that I am transmitting my COM1 mic is active, which automatically makes me listen to COM1. This is not a choice. If I'm transmitting on COM1, I must be listening to COM1 too at the same time. And this is the ATC frequency I'm with right now. And I put the ATAS frequency on COM2 active and I only activated listening to or receiving on COM2 like this. Right. So this way I'm listening to COM1 and COM2, but when I transmit, I'm only transmitting on COM1. And that's how I grab the ATIS. No time PPL, thinking of starting instrument, but no time. Uh, yep, it, it, listen, I mean, take your time. You don't want to jump into uh, an okay, instrument I'll trading see. right away. 6,500. I would say push your PPL first to the limit. Do everything you are allowed to do legally with a PPL. Right, fly into controlled airports, controlled airspace, international flights. Do everything you can with the PPL. Once you feel confident that you've learned everything and you can do everything you can do with your PPL license, then start studying for your instrument training and take your time. There's a lot of legalities, air law and things. It's not just a matter of just flying based on instruments. You need to know the law. You need to know the rules. Uh, and that's very, very critical. That's why you have to take your time. Uh, it is the bread and butter of flying. Uh, I believe being instrument traded uh, is really the fun part about flying. Um, but again, some people enjoy VFR flying more. No problem. It is fun. Wow, this flight is absolute IMC. Okay, good. All right, let's go ahead now and beep the approach. All right, the aircraft status is normal. We have sufficient fuel for that task. There are no relevant notams. Weather, we grabbed it already. We've got a broken layer 400. Wind is gusting, but it's headwind pretty much. Uh, so we should be breaking out about 200 feet before the minimum. So that is good for us. So that's all about the weather I need to talk about. No CBs in the vicinity or anything to discuss. All right, to continue. Uh, in that case, I am going now to go to procedure, select approach, and I'm going to select ILS 7. And I'm going to say from Goulet. And the minimum let's go ahead and put the minimum in and the minimum on the chart is 213 and I have to put 220 because it takes multiples of 10 okay and I'm gonna now go ahead and load that approach and I will check it when I uh, brief it right now so load And as you can see, folks, when I loaded the approach, automatically it put the localizer frequency. That's what the NXI does, 110.3. Put it on active nav 1 and active nav 2. And just to confirm that heading 330. And it put my other frequencies as standby. 
That is fine. Zero. Sorry about that. Seven two two six zero. But maybe I want to switch. Five five five. Concert point. Make your approach. One two four point seven. Have to. I will make. One two four point seven. November two two five five. Echo. Here we go. Okay. AJDAJ, contact point Magoo approach 124.7. 24.7, Hotel Alpha Delta Alpha Jade was here. Point Magoo approach, November DT5, Papa Echo 6000. 24.7. For 335, Papa Echo, point Magoo approach, Oxnard Altimeter 3000. 3000, November DT5, Papa Echo. SoCal approach, November 240, you can picture we're about 11 miles west of the Van Nuys VOR, request call CM route southbound transition. We're going to have to wait for you to see. Point Magoo uh, approach, I'm going to get off the level at 6,000. I checked in. AJ, DAJ, point group project, Oxnard Altimeter 3000. Uh, 00, 0 to the top of Nav. And who is making a request? Here you go. November 240 in Victor, we're 10 miles west of the Van Nuys VOR request. Call Good, now CMRU continue briefing the approach. Transition. So 110.3, this is the ILS uh, runway 7, Santa Barbara. 110.3 is the frequency, it's tuned in, it's correct. Squawk 6547 ident. Uh, November 240, picture. My instrument do like we can trip those, so I feel limited. Uh, yeah, it, it does limit you, absolutely. Uh, it's a lot of hard work, but it's rewarding. You should definitely go for it. Final approach course is 075. Uh, it's gonna get set up later. Uh, report over Van Nuys VOR. Okay. Uh, Touchdown zone is 13 feet. So I'm going to put the three numbers three. here. Ultimate 13 zero feet. Report, uh, over 513. Main, main, main 1000. 13 is 1000 above. And the minimum is 213. Zero zero Yankee Vector, the call is at so these report are the three numbers I want to put. VFR, 9, okay. So let's go ahead now and check the altitudes here. Uh, report over the Van Nuys. We have VOR. Goulet at we, we 6,000. Okay, then we have 4,000 lower. That's Sir, correct. Sir, I understand that, but the then I have Habit. transitions are sometimes required to be flown at a certain altitude. The Habit, 3,500, that's correct. At 2,700, Goit, correct. And the FAF. Is oh, you're actually right. 1800, that's chart. correct. Um, so that's correct. Okay, um, we're just going to cancel. Uh, can, we, can we attempt it again later? or? Uh, and then, in the missed approach, Victor, uh, climb to 700. You, you can't transition the Bravo. 700 um, feet. Then right turn, 4000. So you want to cancel radar services at this time? RGS, we need RGS Affirmative, November 240, frequency and RGS Victor, frequency. Your Victor, just be advised, you're um, going to be entering the, the Burbank Charlie Air Station. San Marcos 114.9. So I'm going to put 114.9 and left to 114.9. Radar services are terminated, squawk V5, and frequency change approved. Here we go. Yeah, we're turning left uh, to avoid that airspace. Uh oh. Uh, squawk it for frequency uh, change approved November 248 picture. 114.9. I don't know why I changed it like this. Here we go. 114.9. This is important because we will use the okay, San Marcos. I have another turn for you here in about 10 miles. We'll use the San Marcos VR. Yeah. Okay, so it says missed approach 700 feet. Then we're going to turn to Gullet. That's correct. Right turn to Gullet. And hold. And the hold is going to be a parallel entry. According to the chart. And it looks Station like. Five, Sierra, correct. Echo Los Angeles Center. Good afternoon. <laughs> Super. One arrival. And with that approach briefing completed. Looks like we have the visibility. And we have. The minimum, so we're good according to where we are. Right. Five here. Echo. Uh, yes, you can expect runway one on a right. Here we are. Okay. Okay. 
looking good. Okay, so let's listen to Romeo again. Approach completed, approach briefing completed. Santa Barbara Municipal Airport. Eight is information, Romeo. One okay, eight. still Romeo, so we're good. So we have Romeo. And we want ILS 7 from Goulet. And we wait. <coughs> She's going to transfer us soon to Santa Barbara uh, approach. And once she does this, we're going to request the approach from Santa Barbara. Look at this beautiful IFR weather, folks. The so-called approach, uh, November 2, 4, 3, can we still uh, attempt the rating or are, are In we In that failed? case, I will change COM2 to, to tower. To who is calling that there? And I will put ground as standby. Um, Stand by, we're going to 1.7. Are we already failed November 2, 4, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 240 Yankee Victor, you haven't failed anything yet. Um, the, I believe this is actually what is uh, the written in for the rating there. Yeah, we just want to do something different. Uh, okay, so we'll, we'll call back when we're ready to proceed with the rating. Remember, 240 Yankee okay, Victor. Okay, how is the GNS 430? <laughs> Not there yet. However, you have to use the mod. There's a mod for the 530 and the 430. If you Google MSFS G, uh, Garmin 530 or 430 mod GitHub, GitHub, um, in that case, uh, you will get a link and you should download that mod. It is definitely way better than um, the MSFS Garmin 430. Oh, yeah, KC Pilot, I got fancy, man. I was, like, studying all day all this fancy stuff about uh, streaming camera. Uh, hold on. Let me put something cool here, too. Look at that. And don't forget to subscribe. Look at that. Fancy schmancy stuff. <laughs> I'm learning how to do this, these crazy things right now. And... Uh, uh, don't forget to buy me a cup of coffee. Link is below. All right, if you want to buy me a cup of coffee, all right. I'm not going to go to Starbucks. Uh, I'll go to uh, a nice Italian coffee shop, get me uh, an espresso or something. <laughs> all right, very good, very good. Okay, don't forget to buy me a cup of coffee, link in the description. And do not forget to subscribe, right? Click the bell icon so you get notified on Twitch, on YouTube, uh... I don't know, Facebook, Dr. Pilot uh, Just don't forget to subscribe, folks. Uh, that would be great. And uh, again, doing a flight between... Uh, I, th I don't know why she hasn't... She hasn't uh, sent me to Santa Barbara. Oh. Hello, Avari. Thank you for the follow. Greatly appreciate it. Okay, so getting uh, there, we are now almost uh, at it. Airport, uh, I'm going to ask her for frequency change. I'm going to ask for a frequency change now. It's taking too long. I can ask her for victors for the islands, to be honest, if I don't get Goulette all the way. But it would be nice to show the VNAV feature and all the fancy, uh, fancy stuff for the NXI. All right, so let me call her. 54844, Los Angeles, Crescent, SoCal, Squawk, 3764, Look at that. 3764, ID 844. 335, Papaco, contact Santa Barbara, approach 120.55. 120.55, November. I'm next, I'm next. Point my go approach, I'm going to tell off uh, Delta Alpha Juliet, uh, request uh, frequency change to Santa Barbara approach. Delta 
Is it DAJ contact Santa Barbara approach one two zero point five five? Two zero point five five with the left at the good day. One two zero point Santa Barbara approach November three three five Papa Echo three thousand. Destination ATIS is 132.65. Bravo 1300 climbing 3000. No, 44 Bravo Vegas. Whoa! Radar Look at that view. That is insane. Climbing chain 11000, 84 Bravo. Yeah, Ryan, you're right. 54844 radar contact 7 miles southeast of Homeland VOR, March altimeter 3000. I'm gonna save her some uh, work. 3000, This is unbelievable. 3260 on turn right heading 070. Right 070 Three 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 five, Papa Echo, Santa Barbara approach, Santa Barbara altimeter, 2998 advise Jeff, weather and the airport is 12 o'clock and one mile. 998. <laughs> How is it? Yes, I advise, um, I'm on information Zulu currently. Oh uh, yeah, of course. Um, so I will disregard the altimeter for now and I see the airport inside. Yeah, Zulu, Hi. makes sense. Santa Barbara approach, uh, good morning, Dominic Del Alpha, Delta Alpha, Juliet, level at 6,000 with Romeo, request ILS 7 from Goulet for procedure. Hope oh, sure, I mean, Goulet's coming up, better slow down the plane a little. <laughs> DAJ Santa Barbara approach altimeter 2998. And uh, which approach was it from Golet? ILS uh, 7 full procedure from Golet. Tell off that off again. Alright, AJ DAJ, you're cleared to direct uh, Golet, cross Golet 6000, cleared ILS, runway 7 approach, report established localizer. Alright, altimeter 98, cleared direct Golet, cross Golet 6000, cleared ILS 7, and report when established. Tell off that off again. Right, that makes you it makes life easy. You go go to procedure, activate approach. It should take you direct to Gullet and change the nav. All right, now since we got cleared for the approach, folks, in that case, I can now put the lowest altitude uh, for the FAF. We're gonna put the FAF altitude, which is 1800. So I'm gonna put 1800 here. Five four eight four four. I lost your mode. See verify transponder, please. 1800. I'm not gonna activate VNAV now because he told me I have to cross. Uh, Gullet at 6,000. So I gotta stay at 6,000 for now. And then I'm gonna activate. Let's take a look at the sequencing now. Here we go. Gullet is good. Yeah, so we're now, as we briefed it, we're good to go. Um, Reina, VM, VO, FYI. No, I'm a TT5 Papa requesting frequency change to uh, Santa Barbara Tower. November 55 Papa. Okay. No, Papa, I'm waiting to pick up the tags then. 9 or 8, okay, 6,000. I was just wondering. Okay, I'm getting close. Alright, Gullet's cool, coming up. We're good. And let's take a look outside. Still, oh, IMC again. But no icing, 6 degrees. It's good. No turbulence. Nice uh, nimble stratus. Okay, that's the guy that was VFR going in. And we have 19.7 on COM2 active. Good to go. All right, so Goulet coming up. And then we're going to use VNAV. We're going to use all the fancy schmancy stuff of the NXI. You can see it delivered. Is doing good. I mean, I can actually go in manually, supposedly, right? What is this number? And I can put 6,000 here. 6. Okay. And. And enter. Okay, and it should show 6,000 here. In that case, 1,800 is good, and I can put, I can activate VNAV, right? Because it's not going to break my next constraint of 6,000. So I entered 6,000 manually because HC told me cross Gullet at 6,000. I put that manually in the MFD right here. I entered that one. It became my next constraint because I don't want to go below that when I cross Gullet. And I put the lowest altitude 
I can use VNAV4, which is the FAF, and that is 1800, as you can see here, right? And I just activate VNAV, and once I pass the initial approach fix, I'm going to also arm approach. So when I am inbound, the final approach fix, is look, it, uh, the CDI is going to switch automatically for me. Now, be careful. I just activated the approach, so again, my NAV1 and NAV2 frequencies got torpedoed. I don't care about NAV1. I mean, I want the ILS frequency on that one. But NAV2? No, no, no. I want uh, Sam Marcus VOR on NAV2. I need that one because I'm going to use it for the mist in case the GPS fails and I have an issue. Okay, so don't forget that it's going to be added to your checklist now, uh, especially with the NXI. The normal G1000 doesn't do this. It's interesting. If you are on magenta using the GPS and you load or activate an ILS approach, it's going to put the frequency on NAV1 active. If you are a NAV1, using NAV1 to navigate, the CDI is a NAV1, it's going to put the ILS frequency on NAV1 standby. If you are NAV2, it's going to put, and using NAV2 to navigate with the CDI, it's going to put the ILS frequency on NAV2 standby. But the NXI puts it on both NAV1 and NAV2. Right, 1990. So we need to call when we're established on the localizer. And here we go. A4 Bravo, enable uh, proceed direct like Hughes, DOR. Direct like Hughes, A4 Bravo. And here we go. We're about to start the approach right now. All right, folks, if you are watching, again, flight from uh, Burbank to Santa Barbara. Both airports are IFR right now with live ETC. We did everything like real world procedures. I can speed up now. Your transponder is off. I lost mode C. I need you to turn your transponder on, please. 844. If you have any questions, go ahead and uh, type your question in the chat. Your 26 Sierra, you are seven and a half miles from Hookham. Uh, continue the right turn heading 210. Maintain 3000 to establish the localizer. Cleared ILS runway 20 right approach. 210, 3000 to establish cleared ILS 20 right approach. Assessment. Uh, okay. arrow 26 Sierra. Hey, Ryan, thank you for subscribing, buddy. Ryan Winterborn. Ryan, where are you from? 549 Where are you based at, buddy? Thank you, 149 Okay, getting there. Goulet coming up, and VNAV is armed. And you can see the little magenta carrot coming down. And Goulet is here, and we start the approach. Next waypoint is Lobber, and that altitude constraint should change from 6,000 to 4,000, which is which is FAF on this approach. Very good. The initial approach fix I'm using is so Goulet, uh, okay, is with and the FAF is right here is um, NAPS intersection. This one uh, right here, NAPS is the FAF. Here you go. Let me know if you can see it better now. Correct. IFR to Ramona for the uh, GPS approach. Okay, let's make sure that there's a top of descent calculated for us. And there is a top of descent right here. Okay, good. So we're good. No surprises. All right, so... Sir, 54844, you're clear to Ramona Airport via Direct Robin. Palo Alto, Romeo, Silicon Oscar, Valley. Romeo, November, November, Victor 208, Soul Beach. Silicon okay, Valley. That's not correct. Beautiful, sir. I love Northern California. I love, 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 love Northern California. I miss... I miss that... Uh, I miss that area. Here we go. Area 4 for just confirming you said the uh, RNAV runway uh, 27 approach. And now I just armed approach, uh, correct. RNAV for as you can see. Uh, A44. So now I have the localizer and glide slope armed. So when the aircraft flies this leg between Goit and Naps, inbound the FAF, the NXI will automatically change the CDI from Magenta to NAV1 to the localizer. And since I have armed the localizer, it's going to capture the localizer, and then it's going to capture the glide slope. So there's literally nothing I need to do right now except for monitor everything and my hand on the throttle because I have to control that, you know, that load, 
the throttle load and the configuration of the aircraft for landing. Uh, 54844, actually, there's no RNAV runway 2742, so Bravo. Okay, uh, these other Bravo points are GPS waypoints. Well, um, you can fly them GPS uh, or we can fly them. Look, for example, well. Lober uh, is a GPS capable. waypoint, but you can fly it. It's Fillmore. It's off of Fillmore 60.1 nautical miles that way, so it's on a radial 250 outbound, and it's here's the distance. Then you turn. This one also is on a radial. You can see the habit is from uh, Gaviota View R. You have a distance to Gaviota 12.8. Also uh, the localizer. Vectors, and you also Julian. you have the rest of them are in the localizer. And, and you have intersections which you can use using the bearing or the RMI from Gaviota while you are no localizer uh, to identify Clear those points. Via direct Julian and direct so we're descending April. now, we got to put the hand, okay, air smooth, we can be in the yellow, but I'm going to reduce the power right now, let's stay in the green. Alright, so we're descending right now. Next constraint, keep an eye on it, it's supposed to be 4,000. Look at that weather, oh my goodness, wow. Now, yep, now we are in those interesting nimble stratus, nimble stratus clouds. Uh, during that time, you don't get unstable atmosphere. So you're not going to get cumulus or CBs at this time. You're supposed to be getting nimble stratus clouds, uh, rain, uh, maybe snow, and icing. But since we are in South Cal, icing uh, at these low altitudes is not really an issue. All right, got it. That was going to be my next question. If you need GPS and nav to fly this approach, so you could do it just using VORs. Yes, but th the thing is, you can only see one VOR at a time on the CDI, so you'd have to be a pro with this beautiful RMI. So right now, I can tell you, I am on San Marcos Radial 210, and my distance from San Marcos is here, 19.9 nautical miles, okay? So you gotta be good with RMI navigation. I want to do a flight one time, to be honest with you guys, just using the RMIs, not even the needles for the CDI. We're just using the RMIs, using QDRs and QDMs, magnetic bearings too, magnetic bearing from all the old school goodies. All right, okay, turn right now. Very good. Let's look outside. Look at that. That is going to be a fun, fun, fun approach. Okay, let's get ready here. The airport, we're going to be uh, parking maybe at Atlantic or Transient Parking Southeast. Right here, so maybe do it a long landing and exit on Bravo. So we don't have to get uh, clearances to cross runways and stuff. All right, back again to our approach. Here we go. Okay, let's center the head and bug. Always center the head and bug. Make it a habit to center the head and bug all the time. So, here we go. All right, so we are about to intercept the final approach course. Let's speed up a little. The, uh, route Next constraint is 3,500. That is correct, 3,500. And do we have a top of descent calculated? We've got to pay attention to this. Yep, there's a top of descent. Okay, super, super good. Good, things are good. Weather is not and the greatest, for, but that's why I picked this picture. flight. So we can have uh, have some fun with some uh, real IFR uh, weather. So we got a question, like, what's 721 kilo in a 2100 squawk 1601 and then. Squawk 1601, Ident, November 2, for zooming to picture. Local low, United 2001, uh, 5000 climbing reality. Why don't we have fun and okay, identify the other waypoints for um, 
using Gav Euro View R113.8. Still got a departure light sports 721 Kilo Lima 2300 climbing 2500. 113.8. And that's Gav Euro. Roger, contact uh, Los Angeles Internet. And well, I will identify those waypoints. I'll show you how. So when I see, according to the chart, Victor, your radar contact, seven okay, we've got to start descending now, V-Path, use the power a little. Here we go, about two, to turn. Two nine or nine or seven position check, and we'd like to apply the, uh, the coastal road, route uh, southbound transition. That was going to be... Pretty 2700 is the next. Uh, remain outside Bravo airspace. Once it becomes purple, it's going to show me 2700. Maintain VFR 5500. Come on, switch the leg, switch the leg. Remain outside of the Bravo airspace and report north of the simple V to pass. Here we go. Yeah, uh, it's going to capture. Maintain 5500. Deep path is up. Deep path is up. Here we go. Beautiful. Everything is going according to plan. After the next waypoint, it's going to switch inbound the FAF. So after we pass Goit. Is going to switch the localizer Los automatically. Thank you, Las Vegas, Altimeter, now let's identify Goit. Goit, Goit is right. radial 136, right? So radial 136, the tail, when the tail is at 136, that's Goit. Still okay, Calipar, number 13130, climbing through 1000 for 3000. United 2001, contact Los Angeles Center, 128.6. 128.6, United 2001. So, when the so one, three, one, tail three, is at 136, that would be Goit. There you go, it's 140, approximately. Here you go, 139. 109.7 to Alpha Delta Alpha J, good day. Okay, let's come. We'll switch now to COM2. And it should switch now. Here you go. That's it, it's out. Santa Barbara Tower, good afternoon. Down until Alpha Delta Alpha Juliet, ILS uh, 7, full stop. We're 69110, taxi via Alpha, remain as frequency pass, the CAD 4. Taxi via Alpha, stay this frequency, 69110. 12 Delta Alpha Juliet, Santa Barbara Tower, runway 7, clear to left. Runway 7, clear to land, hotel Alpha Delta Alpha Juliet. Okay, we're good here. And that's it. And we can identify NAPS. NAPS is in radial 119er. When the tail, look, this tail is on 119er, that is NAPS. So I can identify the points. It's good to... There we go. So NAPS is 119 See, NAPS, we just passed... We're about to pass naps right now because I'm looking at the tail from Gaviota. Okay, very good. So adding power now. And we're about six miles out, guys. Okay, it's time we're going to lights on. Just you don't get distracted. All right. Now localizer established and glide slope established. In that case, I'm going to reduce the power now 25. Maybe I'll make it 30 because of the gust. Reported gust to 30. Okay. Gear down. Nice. This is beautiful weather, folks. All right. And speed check. Uh, first notch of flaps, actually. We are below the speed for the first notch of flaps. The full flaps is for the white arc, but we're not going full flaps today. So first notch of flaps. Here we go. All right. So landing checklist. Uh, lights on. Gear down. Three greens. And... Flaps here is called takeoff, so you gotta call it flaps takeoff. Rudder trim neutral, parking brake released, power set, landing clearance received. San Luis Tower, Cherokee. Landing checklist completed. Three mile final runway, runway zero seven. One. Wow, this Number is eight, gonna be fun. One, 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 one thousand, okay, almost. Quest there you go. stop landing, <laughs> Cherokee eight zero nine. <clears throat> 1,000 above, stabilized. Cherokee, it's your nutter. Just 
Just read back cleared for the option. Do you understand what the option yes. clearance Yes, so you could use the DME right? distance, but remember, DME is on nav yeah, one right now. You need a GPS distance, which is legal. Four things that you had mentioned. Yeah. So okay, there's a little me, like, lagging. Wow, I see the lights, land, folks. Top, like, Whoa, questions. here we go. Beautiful. I mean, you're clear. Oh, please the don't the lag. So you don't need to ask Make the landing time. easier. Can we get a land and clearance? we, we are visual. All those things, basically, so just read back, clear for the option. Basically. 500. I see. Okay. All I have to say is clear for the option, and then I can do whatever I need to. Thank you. Okay. Five hundred uh, clear to land. I'm gonna disconnect the autopilot now because I'm visual, anyways. And we'll fly this manually. Cross from a user left at hotel and a taxi via Alpha. Monitor ground. Cross two zero left at hotel, taxi via Alpha. Two six zero on the ground. lag. Sometimes the sim is good and no issues, and sometimes you get these crazy lags. Santa Monica Tower. There's no gusting, so I'm going to reduce Zulu the power Lima now. Six miles to the northeast at 2000, inbound with Zulu. Minimum Percent continue. Q Lima, Santa Monica Tower, make straight in runway 21, clear to land. Straight in runway 21, clear to land, 721 Q Lima. Oh man, I hate this because the landing becomes very bad because of these. Okay, idle. Okay, here we go. And flaps up. P2 heat off. I didn't use the fuel pumps, so it's no issue here. I'm gonna cross both runways, so I, I can save him some work. Tell me cross this runway, clear to cross this, clear to cross that. And we don't have landing and hold short operations. And I'm gonna exit right after that on Bravo. Approaching runway 15 left, 33 right. Entered runway 15 left, 33 right. Yeah, this is Bravo. Give it some power. Exit here. Here's Bravo, here's the taxi sign. And vacating the runway. And we stop here. And I'll turn the landing light off. And we'll call him right now. Santa Barbara Tower, down to Alpha Delta Alpha Juliet, uh, clear of seven on Bravo, request taxi to transient uh, southeast. To Alpha Delta Alpha Juliet, taxi straight ahead, remain at frequency. Straight ahead, remain at frequency, to Alpha Delta Alpha Juliet, good day. Okay, here we go. We got taxi to transient. Right zero nine taxi via Alpha to parking and remain as frequency pass the cat three. Taxiing to parking chair. That was really a cool approach. And we taxi now to transient. Parking and we debrief the flight real quick. comes the crazy vehicles from Microsoft Flight Simulator. Don't make any sense. All right, so we taxi down to transient. All the way down. And we're gonna go ahead and debrief the flight real quick. Yes, I, every uh, VOR or every, um, I have the RMI to it, so I can know which radial I'm on by looking at the tail, and I have a distance to it, uh, and that's the way, because you can be on one CDI on NAV1 or NAV2, and you have the other RMI, so it's like monitoring two uh, NAV frequencies at the same time. It's like having two CDIs at the same time. But you've got to be proficient with understanding RMIs and how uh, tails rise and... Uh, tips fall and all that stuff about RMI navigation. Right, so I'm going to go ahead now and park here in transient parking. Here 
here we go. And park next to that Skyhawk. And we debrief the flight real quick. Alright, we're good here. In that case, sparking brakes on. This is a turbocharged engine, folks. You're supposed to leave it on idle for about two minutes before you shut down the engine for the turbocharger. Okay. So, we're not going to do this, obviously. So, all lights off except for the strobes. Alright. And we go ahead now and turn the avionics off. And before that, I actually want to look put VFR, squawk VFR. Transponder VFR. Here you go. And avionics off. And then left, I mean, I'm sorry, right master off. Here we go. And then left master off. That's good. And then strobe off and master off. And you leave the Okay, and we go ahead now and try to brief this real quick. All right, so just to recap real quick, we saw this flight was from Burbank to uh, Santa Barbara. And uh, we called in and we got our clearance, which was we filed a tech route for the flight plan, tech routes in South Cal, tower in route controlled uh, routes. These are pre-approved routes in South Southern California between any two airports. You just file them. We got the clearance, Van Nuys 3 departure, film transition. Victor 186, um, initially 4, then 6 after 1 0 minutes, departure frequency 134.2 on the squawk. We went ahead and uh, programmed the G1000. I'd like to start with the comms, pre selected altitude, altimeter, flight plan. Check the flight plan if you're going to follow the magenta waypoint by waypoint, and then the transponder squawk. That's done. And then we flew our route, as you can see here. We She gave us actually uh, vectors all the way. We flew. We didn't actually fly the route at all. We were on a heading the whole time. Then we checked the weather and we requested ILS at Santa Barbara from Goulet. We followed the procedure. We armed VNAV. We manually put 6,000 for Goulet because that was that what TGC told us to cross Goulet at at 6,000. And I activated VNAV by putting the FAF altitude. Uh, I armed it and then it got activated and it descended for me automatically the whole way until uh, I was inbound the final approach fix and that's when the G1000 automatically switched from Magenta to Nav1. Be careful for the gotcha, the NXI will put the ILS frequency on both active Nav1 and Nav2 and will move your active frequencies to the standby so make sure you bring back whatever you were using so you don't want to lose that. Briefing the approach was very critical, you have to always brief the approach. If you're going to follow the Magenta for the approach including the mist, you got to make sure that it's correct to compare it with the chart including the altitudes and everything else. Put the Nav radio frequencies uh, uh, also uh, as aids in case you have a failure with the GPS or any issues like that. And with that, folks, I'd like to thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in another stream, and take care.